You can't see my bottom half, so I'm in my underwear. Getting started making knives is not easy. Before you can start running a race, you need to figure out how to get to the starting line. If you want to be a knife maker but don't know how to start getting started, then this video is for you. This is not a video about how to make your first knife. I might make that kind of video in the future. This is about how to start getting started, in other words, how to prepare to start a knife making journey. In order to understand what you need to get started, first you need to assess what you have. I've boiled this down to four questions. Question 1. How much space do you have? This is the first major roadblock for most aspiring knife makers. You need space in order to make knives, space for equipment, space for tools, space to work on and assemble and organize the knives you make. You don't need a lot of space, but you do need some that you can dedicate only to making knives. I currently make knives in my parents' garage, which is a three car garage. However, I started out only using one car's worth of space. The standard size of a one car garage is 12 feet by 22 feet, which is 240 square feet. I use a section of the garage with a column, a water heater, and a garbage disposal unit, so I was, I was actually limited to a space I measured out to be 17 feet by 9 feet, which is 153 square feet. That was actually more than I needed in the beginning. I think at least 120 square feet of space is a good goal to work towards if you don't already have that much space available or more. That gives you space for most of the essential tools and equipment. I have heard stories of people starting off with even less space. I've heard stories of, you know, some people working on their balconies. But in most cases, these people either quit making knives or expand that space very shortly after they start. So I would just focus on trying to get at least 120 square feet of space to begin with. Question two, how much time do you have? The amount of time you have available to make knives will determine not only how far you get, but also your initial approach. If you don't have a lot of time, then you might not want to waste it using hand files or hacksaws or other very inefficient pieces of equipment. If you don't care about the speed of your progress as a knife maker, then sure, time doesn't matter. But the more time you invest into making knives, the faster you'll progress. Don't expect to get to the same place as a knife maker who's been making knives for five years in five years if you're not putting in the same amount of time that they did each day. Question three, what is your budget? There are always more and better tools and equipment to buy, so it's important to set a budget and then spend within those limits. The most common question I get asked by new knife makers is what they should buy, whether it's like, what belt grinder should I buy, or what drill press should I buy, what grinding belt should I buy, or you know, is there something I haven't even considered yet? There are plenty of videos out there by people like Walter Sorrels, Redbeard Ops, Simple Little Life, um, they're all on YouTube, on how to get started with minimal equipment, but I actually do not like that approach. If you can afford it, I do not advise making knives with minimal equipment. And if you're in any way serious about making knives, buy the best equipment you can afford with your current budget. I know this advice runs counter to what every other knife maker says on YouTube about getting started, but that is my honest opinion. Better tools and equipment don't just make life easier or more convenient. They actually change how you make knives. Um, if you have good equipment, you are less likely to learn bad habits, useless skills. You will also love the process of making knives more, which will make it more likely that you continue in this journey. Question four, what is your passion level? Excuse me. The way you determine how passionate you are is by asking yourself what you are willing to sacrifice in order to make knives. For example, as I am right now, I would say I'm extremely passionate about making knives. I sacrifice my time my money, I sleep less, I don't play video games anymore, I'm much more passionate now than when I first started. But even in the beginning, making knives was almost everything to me. I said to myself, if this doesn't work out, I'm not going to keep living. If you are very passionate about making knives, then you should have a different approach to someone who isn't as passionate. Buy the good tools and equipment because you know you're going to use them. Spend time learning useful skills like bevel grinding and sharpening because you know you're going to use them. If you aren't sure how passionate you are about making knives, then you might buy decent tools and equipment instead of the best you can afford. But like I said earlier, don't buy bad tools and equipment because that will kill your passion as soon as you get started. So I hope that video was helpful to you guys. Um, you know, if you like... If you kind of like this video style and, you know, whatever, then let me know in the comments. But yeah, thanks for your time. Peace.